Hello everyone. Welcome to the second episode of the product toolbook series. Today we are going to recreate Spotify using Figma. Uh, so let's just get started. For that, first we need a plugin installed in our Figma. Uh, let's go to the top main menu and directly to browse plugins in community. This opens a new tab where you can directly type in font awesome, which is the plugin that we want and search for it. A couple of options will appear and you can directly install it. So for me, it's already installed. Once it is installed, you can find it in the top menu as well uh, under plugins. Uh, so let's just start making the mockup. Uh, this is the original screenshot that you see right now on the screen that we are going to recreate. For that, first we need the base, the rectangular base. Uh, let's go to the top shape tools. In that, we'll pick up the rectangle and we can use our mouse to drag and drop and resize the rectangle that we want. We can also change the color of it. Uh, just click on it and then change the color to black from fill from the right panel. This gives us the this gives us the base. Now, once the base is done, we have divided the entire uh, original screenshot into sections. Let's first tackle the first section, which consists of a text or the time and some of the icons for signal and Wi-Fi. Uh, for text, we'll go to the upper bar again, pull in text and just type in 1270. Right now, the text is black in color. But let's change it from fill option to white. And this is how it looks like. We can drag drop it and arrange it to wherever we want to put it. Now uh, we'll click on, uh, we'll right click anywhere on the screen, find the plugins, font or some icons, and just search for, for example, Wi Fi. And now we have found the Wi Fi. We'll change the color to white. And maybe the size also, the size can be changed from the right panel also. First, we'll fix the ratios and maybe make it 25. So now just drag drop it and align it. So this is how the icons can be included and various icons we can include. So the first layer and the second layer, which consists of good afternoon and certain other icons is similar in format, which uh, for the purpose of this video, I've already done. So let's just go ahead and open our sections. So this is how it looks like. Now for the third section, apart from the text that we've already learned how to go about, there is also a box or a button kind of a thing. For that, we will need to go to the shapes again, pick up rectangle, make a rectangle, but then, but the rectangle needs to be black in color. Let's do that. Additionally, the rectangle also has a boundary which is white in color. We'll use stroke for it and then just choose the white color. But it's exactly not a rectangle, it's an ellipse. Uh, for that, in the right panel, you'll find a corner radius icon, which will help you uh, kind of make the corners circular. We'll make it circular to 45 degree. And this gives us quite an ellipse format. So this is how it will look like. Uh, this is also done for us. So let's go ahead and open it up. For the, uh, for the fourth section, apart from the text and the shape or uh, rectangle shape that we've already used, we also have some posters or some pictures. Uh, for the purpose of this workshop, what I have done is already uh, downloaded some of the photographs from online resources. And uh, let me just pick up, for example, this artist's picture and we can put it anywhere on the screen. Uh, we'll just resize it, uh, for example, to 40. This is a bit smaller. Let's make it say 80. This looks fine to me. So this is how we can change the size of the uh, picture. Secondly, uh, right now this picture's border is a bit cornered, is a bit uh, made circular. So what we can do is in this corner radius again, we maybe choose five degree and this is how we can change it to make it a bit circular. Uh, but if you'll see the next section in which Amit Trivedi's picture is there, it's complete circle. So for that, what we'll need to do is we'll need to increase the degrees from like five degrees to around 360 degrees. So this gives us a complete, uh, complete circular picture. 
so now these two uh, kind of activities or features we we'll use and we'll create the other two sections it just consists of text shapes and pictures and i'll just open it up for you so this is how it looks like so some of the pictures i didn't find online same as it was in the original screenshot so i've taken some creative liberties here uh, for the next section as well we would just need some uh, posters from online and some text so i'll just show one more poster maybe uh, which is the dil chahta hai poster and here using the command option for map and using uh, the mouse we can crop the picture so this is how we can crop it and then resize it either through our mouse and then clicking shift to keep the ratio intact and this is how it would look like and similar to how we have added text before we can we can add the text change the color of the text and even the size of the text so this is how the end product will look like so it is text here now similar to what we have done the next section is the amalgamation of everything done till now it consists of a poster the text icons from font awesome the rectangular box from shapes and then a single line that also comes from shape Uh, so i'll just show you how to make that single line take the line from shapes uh, press shift and use the icon to make it complete straight right now the uh, thickness of the line is around 1 let's make it 4 and we can change the color from here either we can like just guess the brown color or we can use the color picker to exactly take it from the uh, from the original screenshot so this is how the line looks like so let's just open it up and this is just a poster the text and the images uh for the last section it again has just font or some icons and some text to it and a line from shapes additional part that we have involved here is the logo of spotify so i have uh, downloaded it from online resources so this is how you will directly pull the logo and this is how it looks like so you can uh, reshape it using shift to maintain the size shift and arrow keys and one another tip is uh, because it's white in color but we need it a bit more blended we'll change the pass through rate or the opaqueness rate from 100% to like 80% so it gives it a very nice um, kind of a translucent feeling and this is how our end product looks like so uh, i did not find the library icon as such so i took i took book instead so this is how the end product looks like one tip here would be uh, to actually make groupings of everything that you do for example i've created lower bar current song so it's very easy to actually reuse different parts and also to edit in future so this uh, brings us to the end of the workshop hopefully it was helpful and uh, in case there are any more video suggestion please comment below and subscribe to the channel and hit the like button thank you so much